So I see we have a fallen comrade here. What's the story? Oh, one of the connecting rods decided it didn't want to be a part of the engine anymore. Huh. Now, to be fair, that was happening long before the carb edition. I have, was just kind of waiting for it to uh, to go on me, but check out this compression. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> huh. So it's a Sunday afternoon and we're at Tim's garage picking something up. Tim, what is it that we're getting? Well, like most guys, I hate to admit it, but today is the day that we play with my rear end. So here it is. It's a Ford nine inch out of, I think a pickup. I originally got it for the gasser. Um, then I realized that a uh, Tri-5 Chevy rear end is almost the same as a nine inch in that the gear cluster is attached to the front of the uh, housing and it all just comes out as a unit. You can change your gears and you can put it back in, which is why people love the nine inch, right? That being said, this will fit in the charger. Well, we're gonna make it fit in the charger. The whole idea behind this car is work with what we've got and we've got this. And I, did, what did you do? You ordered a four link? Yeah, we ordered a triangulated four link welders edition kit for it. Basically, it's kind of a universal kit that just comes with some prefabbed uh, brackets and stuff that make life a lot easier as far as angling your shocks and figuring out where they fit and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll be removing, well, we don't have to, I guess, because these are on the bottom, but we can always knock those plates off. We're not using leafs. We're going to go with coilovers simply because they use the same mount as the shock. They're very easy. In the greater scheme of things, the cost difference isn't huge. So we're good to go there. So yeah, we had this figured, why not? So Mark and I are gonna try to give ourselves some hernias and pick this thing up. How heavy is this? Very. All right, oh my God. You okay? Here it is. It's a bit of undesired heavy lifting. Heavy lifting is undesired. Very true. So now we're all set. Oh! Ron? Maybe go open the door. Ron's brought our present. What's that? Oh! Yeah. Yep. So our wheel wells have arrived with Ron. And there they are. And there's Ron. Hey. That was the start of your... Ah. Very nice. Cool. That goes on the inside. Oh, sweet. So Ron, tell me about your bead roller. You made it, right? Well, I made this a long time ago because back in the days, you couldn't find nothing off the internet because there was no internet. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of made what you had to do. I make most of my own tools anyhow, so. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, that one just does the, uh, the round. Yep. I'm making another one that does way more than that now there, but yeah, so I just have to stretch a little bit more here, bring her straighter. And then I'm just gonna mark it with the marker and then I can bring it. Kind of follow that line. Yeah, so when I do the other stuff, I bring the stretcher and shrinker here. Yeah, you put it in your brake and you bend it yeah. one inch. That's your inner fender. And then you just put it, you got a shrinker and a stretcher. So one turns it this way. Yep. What it does is this little teeth, it just grabs and pulls the metal together. Okay. And so this way, it's the other way around, grabs and pulls the metal apart. Okay. So that's why you got like like these little marks. Right, right. So it grabs onto it and it, and it rounds it. That's cool. So the more you the more you go on it, the more the more rounder you curve get. you get. So you can go full, and then when you go the second time, you do half, so it, it kind of, it's, so, pretty, it's pretty hard to pull it when it's full. There. Is that pneumatic or is it all by hand? It's all by foot. So I got a really oh. strong calf now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I stretch all that there. That should uh, work out not too bad. You do a butt well. So what you do is you scribe that and you 
tack it and then you zip this it as you go and it, and it falls behind it goes it. flush i watched a guy do that yeah. once actually so you go flush so then after you're done welding so you put the weld in between your two joints there and then you just flop or will it and you, you barely use any body filler like absolutely nothing do a high build primer you barely hide that really yeah yeah and then we can probably just even to get rid of this yeah like push it forward well once you start going you start you know twisting the metal back and forth and another trick is so if you add a little bit more weld it will pull that yeah so you can pull the dents out like it's it's like a chemistry thing there it's just like welding anything if something's crooked you'll put a weld on the other side it pulls it straight yep let's think about this one for a minute i only used it a couple weeks ago but Oh, I see. Yeah. I thought you wanted it just out of the way. It's had a tip. Oh, it's a drama. Let go. You don't build the back. This one was bent like that, I guess. It's not that bad right there. Wow, we're gonna play with the height, did you know? Because, uh, yeah. well, we're doing coilovers, right? Yeah, so we just move wherever you want. Oh, you want. So, to explain, which is something we didn't get on camera yet, is that basically Ron is cutting out the old wheel well in here so that we can fit our barrel wheel wells inside. See where my finger is there? Cut that whole back quarter of okay. I was trying to cut it all in one piece, but... You gotta cut out to about that piece right there. Yeah. There you go. It's all back 
Tubing across the back of the frame, eh? We can pull this up like this? Yep. I might pull. Just run a good weld right there. Is better? Oh, yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Okay, now we gotta do the back. Okay. There. Okay, so that's it for another Sunday afternoon down at the shop. Now it's cleanup time. We've got tools all over the place. Tim, any words? Oh, I am I see speckles. I mean, I welded that properly with all the safety gear. Ron, any words? No, not much. There's a uh, 45 gallon drum for inner fender. Works not too bad. That's pretty awesome. Looks good. Gonna do the trick. Now we just need a 45 gallon gas tank. <laughs> oh. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can stay up to date with all the other Charger stuff that we've got going on. Plus, Chev stuff too. All sorts of stuff on the go. Have a good one. Thanks again.